Hey, Jeff Kogue here, what's up? I actually wanted to go live on here and talk about something. Since the beginning of this year, uh, I've lost about 14 pounds, maybe going on to 16. I'm kind of hovering between 14, 17 pounds. I lost this weight and I haven't stepped into the gym once. Well, I'm lying. I stepped in once for to going into the actual sauna, but I haven't exercised, all right, and or went on a run or anything like that. No, I did go in once, I think, yeah, to, to, to run with my wife. I think that was it. Um, but other than that, I haven't done anything. Is that some type of magic thing that I'm doing? No, not necessarily. I learned something from a good friend of mine, and my actual dad was the first one to actually tell me about this, where years and years ago, he actually told me about something called uh, fasting, right? So he was telling me, like, yeah, I'm fasting right now, and all I'm doing is drinking water and tea. And I was like, what are you talking about, man? And then I didn't see him for like a good two months or something like that and suddenly he lost so much weight And I was just like wow like you know and before he was kind of overweight And so he lost weight and I was just like wow and I didn't think nothing of it I was just like oh, okay at first I thought he was sick or something like that I was just like dude are you all right man you lost like a lot of weight like are you and he's like no 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 He's like this is how I'm supposed to be you know healthy and then uh, I had a conversation with a high school buddy of mine uh, He runs a tech company and stuff like that. He's telling me about intermediate fasting and then Jason and another good friend of mine is telling me about that how he lost like tremendous amount of weight and I'm just like what the heck is this right and then he was they were just like well the concept is really simple don't eat in the morning or you don't eat in the certain blocks of time right so they say that you don't eat for for like 14 hours right during that time you only drink like coffee or water or tea the the rest of the day right because 14 minus 24 hours right or 24 hours minus 14 is you have eight hours left so during those eight hours you can eat whatever the heck you want and you can actually lose weight that was kind of the, the principle right why is because your body is actually during that hour looking to uh, break down fat that you have and for energy and you'll learn how to actually uh, control your hunger right so I started doing more research and things like that and it looked like people were having tremendous amount of success on this now um, I'm not some you know big you know guru guy of nutrition or fitness or anything like that I'm remotely not even close to that okay but I saw so many people doing it and it was working for them and I was just like you know what let me do that all right and and the reason why I decided to do it um, in the month of January is for the fact I don't like going into the gym in January because it's so packed you know you can go in earlier than what you normally do so you can avoid the people but still it's a little bit packed and then people are using the freaking machine and the people that are aren't in the gym are like literally like to hog up the freaking machines you know like they're not used to like hey sharing with people you know and be like hey can I go and jump in with you and then they'll be like no <laughs> you know so so I was I was just like nah I don't want to go in until like probably uh, after February or something like that so I decided to act fast so I did that and I'm on like week three or whatever technically doing it and I'm down about like as I said 14 to 17 pounds which is super cool so the next stage that I'm doing is I'm gonna detox uh, probably for another two weeks or so where I'm gonna sweat it out in the sauna get on juicing and same thing as fasting I was eating really bad I think in the grand scheme of things man I was having like farmer burgers having chili cheese fries I'm having burgers okay I'm having donuts I'm having like uh, muffins, okay, um, eating chocolates, uh, eating chips, okay, so again, I lost 14 to 17 pounds still eating crap, you know, so what does this relate into the world, you know, let's talk, let's call it entrepreneurship, right, because I talk about business, entrepreneurship, life, and stuff like that, is hacking and breaking, the, I think, the dogma of the norm, right, which is people have a concept and idea of business, right, and, and people have a concept and idea of even losing weight, which is what, well, losing weight is don't be a pig eat less eat healthy and run an exercise right and if you do that you'll actually lose weight and it's the same thing in concept of business the the people believe the kind of the regular stuff is hey get an idea go sell that idea or product or service and go collect the check right so again fundamentally that's that's what business is but beneath that layer, there's a secondary layer where there's leverage points and hacks that you can do to actually compound your effects on what you're currently doing to get the massive amount of results that you want to get. And that's what I want to actually talk about because, again, I didn't magically like change my schedule to do this stuff, right? The only thing I actually did was making sure that I don't eat during that time. And most of the time in the morning, I didn't eat anyways because I'll be so busy. So the only thing I did was I stretched my time of when I'm actually eating and then I've just been really cognizant about hey during the time that I do eat that's the only block of time that I eat because sometimes I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll eat too right so that's all I did 
And uh, when I did that, I lost weight. So in the business world, there are certain tweaks and levers that you can pull to actually move the needle, okay, in a positive direction. Now, with that needle being moved, okay, this thing will get you to move like, you know, hey, couple of degrees right but fundamentally to move the needle dramatically okay you're you're gonna have to change your lifestyle okay which we know like in lifestyle right like I can't sustain uh, fasting like forever and actually stay in that right you know you want to actually do it for four weeks five weeks six weeks tops or something like that and then just change your habit completely so let me tie this into uh, what I'm currently doing um, the space I'm, I'm changing it in a way where I'm gonna deliver more content and more value uh, to the community I'm part of because what I have been doing is I just been emailing people like content and value I stopped actually doing a lot of like videos for uh, about a year uh, an year and a half and even releasing podcast episodes and truth be told I stopped is uh, because I was actually legitimately in a rut you know I'll tell you that I'll be straight up I was in a rut why is because things that I was working on in the past and didn't work out the way that it was supposed to and uh, I got complacent you know I got really really complacent and I was trying so many other things and and I wasn't focused on that 80-20 and focusing on my strength, which I highly recommend any everyone to do. So I started focusing on like some of my e-commerce business, right? Where yeah, that was making money. Like it still makes money and stuff like that, right? But um, I was trying to do different things, way too many things in there when it was already making money, and I should have just let it go and let someone else run with it and let it pump out the actual sales that it needed to sell. Like my e-commerce business, right? Like it hovers around like five thousand, six thousand dollars a month that it actually uh, sailed. Um, so which is super cool, I guess, you know, um, the margin on that we're running at is a little over 20% on that. So I guess it's cool the fact that it is like really legitimately like the passive as it can get. What we're doing this year on that is just we're just adding a little bit more different product lines to it. Um, and then we actually stopped selling some other product lines because the margin wasn't really uh, there. So we did that. A couple other stuff in the investment world, right, is I was focused on doing like underwriting way too many deals, right? Like I think like last quarter of this year, I was looking looking at way too many deals, like way too many deals. I was looking at way too many out of state deals and I was trying to kind of leverage and arbitrage myself into it to, to blockbuster deals. So, you know, I'm talking about commercial deals where someone had it under contract and and I was trying to uh, leverage myself in there by, you know, putting a little bit of my money as well as I was trying to pitch it to my investors and it became a long clusterfuck of you know what. Why is because people didn't have it truly under contract, which is go get the contract, right? Right? and or only work with people that uh, you know that has the legitimate contract so that's what I started doing and then like this year I think I looked at this month alone I think I've looked at maybe close to about 30 acquisition deals um, looked at about about a handful of deals to lend on and stuff like that and it's a unique thing you know and the crazy part is I just got pitched deal and they were just like yeah man I'm doing new construction what do you think about this and I'm just like dude man you got to send me a prospectus on that you know like send me what what rate and term you're gonna actually pay out your investor with the itemized schedule on timeline breakdown of what you have you know and I think that's where some investors are lacking when they when they're trying to pitch people you know like when I was pitching you know heavily to investors to raise money right Right? like we would legitimately have a software uh, that we would use to actually create um, I might maybe I'll put that link in the actual description later on when I update this I would actually create a prospectus right like with a cover sheet with an overview and I would uh, put how much return you're gonna get what's the actual expected stuff making sure that you can get the most information to the actual investors right so um, and then that really helps um, because when you get that over right most investors want to see something like super clean and they're just like oh okay I got it and you look professional at the end of the day right you look professional same thing as if you're gonna go use hard money lenders right is putting a package together is uh, really really important yeah you know like hard money lenders and stuff like that they have applications you got to fill out and you have to fill out their application and send it in but on top of that you want to have a supplemental package like a prospectus that actually has a breakdown of your project and project costs because then it shows that you're an actual professional and you know what the heck that you're doing and then also simultaneously now you have leverage point to actually say hey you're using that and you got to beat my current investors uh, rate and term and I've done that many times where you go to the lender and be like look man um, as you can see you know hey hey we're just sending this out to all of our investors and we want to go with you but hey you got to get us a better better term right and then you can negotiate them instead of 412 you can get them down to 310 right two and a half nine and a half 
and stuff like that so again you have to use those packages to negotiate and again going back to kind of the topic of of losing weight and how it relates to businesses you know find those leverage points find those quirky little hacks you can use in in life in business to be able to live a simpler life because again if I'd have went to the gym beginning of this year and if I had stuck around working out every single time like the last several years when I'm in the gym during this time from like January to maybe like end of February right I get freaking pissed off at the people that are there okay now maybe I should have a little bit more patience and maybe I should have a little bit more understanding of the, the, the people that normally do not go to the gym but instead of you know doing that I actually decided not to go in at all and just by making a few strategic ch uh, changes in the time that I actually eat I was able to lose any again as I said it was like 17 pounds to 14 pounds in a three-week period okay so I like it you know I feel much better I feel a little bit more healthier and you can do the exact same thing but really once you get that needle moving in a certain direction to get a little bit results right you have to still fundamentally change the core of, of of what I'm doing because I can't I don't want to be sustaining it right I still got to eat healthy because I lost that weight by eating like chili cheese fries okay onion rings with ranch and stuff like that right and then sometimes I mix it up with having like strami sandwich yeah I've had that too over there I'm probably pretty much try like all their menus sometimes I have breakfast for like lunch and dinner right because um, they serve breakfast but the point is that I'm eating like crap okay but then I still lost weight okay so again back to the topic of this obviously for people who watch this typically they're running their own business is you can still do a lot of bad things, right? Um, but if you make kind of changes that are purpose, like purposely do it and you actually monitor it, you'll be surprised on what you can do. Okay, so that's what I got for you on this beautiful day. I got to go in and I got to bang out a lot of work to, uh, today um, to Saturday here. And, uh, so that's all I got. I want to share this with you. Let me know if you got value out of this. Leave a comment below under this and I'll talk to you guys later on. Take care and bye-bye.